Hi everybody, it's Mike again, back with IntelliHot. I'm going to change out a control board on a unit today, kind of give you an idea. Basically, I've already went through and I removed my six screws. I've shut my gas off, my inlet cold, my outlet hot, my 120 volt plug. We went ahead and done all that. Open this box up. We're going to remove this control panel out of our way in the bracket. So basically, we're going to start with that. I'm going to remove this control panel wiring harness from the control board. I'm going to raise this up, lay that right down in the bottom right there, and that'll be out of your way. It's pretty simple as far as changing out the wiring process. I've always taught everybody if you're not for sure, you can always take a Sharpie and mark something A, A, B, B, C, C, if that's what makes you feel comfortable. If not, one, one, two, two, three, three. But I believe the way they designed this board, we could go through here and unplug everything. It'll only plug back in one place the way they've designed it, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so, without further ado, we're going to get this control board out. You're going to see exactly what's in the package when we open it up. A lot of parts. They give us two seven millimeter nuts again. And this is an exploded view of the board with the nuts, showing you where to put them. So. We're going to get started. Very simple little process. In our box here, basically, we have our control board and a two seven millimeter nuts. This is for the old style, in case they had the stud sticking out of here. In our application, we don't have to have the wrench or the screwdriver. We can just set that stuff to the side, and we're going to just change the board out. Now, there's other ways of making it a little simple. As far as changing it out, you just want to make sure that we have the thing pointed in the right direction. Some people will take it out, set it here to the side, pop the new board in place, and one by one, unplug each part. So it's up to you, whatever you feel better doing. Let's try it that way and see if it'll work, because a lot of people are that way in our industry. Obviously, right now, right off the bat, I have a ground wire in my way. I have a little wire right there that's short going up to the igniter box. I have another one, short. That one's going to the wiring harness that has all of the zip ties right there on it. So if you want to cut the zip ties loose, you better make sure you have some because there's a reason why the zip ties are in that place. They're trying to keep the uh, zip ties from touching, or they're trying to keep the wires from touching all of the hot spots, like the top of the engine, sharp places, or the stainless metal, things of that nature. So. I'm one of them guys, I like to unplug it all, get it out of my way. So, instead of doing it one at a time, obviously this wiring harness, if you don't want to remove the, the um, zip ties, you're going to have to do it like this. Take it off one at a time. Some people count them, mark them, whatever, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay, the only thing I have left is my ground wire. Guess what? I know how to unscrew a seven millimeter nut right there. So we'll go back to that one here in a minute and I'll stick this on here. Now we have a mess of wires. I have no idea where they go. We're gonna figure them out together. Basically, we got that big one I just messed with. There's the last one. I'm gonna start at that point and it only fits one way. Have another prong right here. It's got five on it. I bet you that one goes right there. I'll return it right here. Fit that way. I'm gonna remember my ground wire, so I'm gonna stick it out here in my way. That way I won't forget it. We have this plug pin right here. Oh, that's a short one. So it's that's the long one. See there? I told you they did some things that you cannot mess up. If it doesn't fit, you've got it in the wrong spot. I know my arms are in the way probably, but I'm just trying to go through here and show you the point of, you can't mess up. See there, that one didn't fit there, but I bet you it fits right there. And then I remember to undoing that little wire. The rest of us have to remember that one. All right, let's go back up here to the top, 
see what we have. That's the three prong, so that one probably goes right here somewhere. I'm not going to hook that one up just yet until I get these other ones in line. Get the one right here. And we have rewired everything. There's a couple little places back here you can feel if you want to shine a light there. You can see that there's little stud holes for this plastic stud pieces to line up on this back bracket. Once you get it kind of fished into place, you'll feel it. They just dropped into the spot there. I gotta get the bottom one. There, okay. All I'm gonna do is flip that right back there. I have my, at my flame sensor ignition control wire that we have to have right there. I'm going to go through and I'm going to put this, take the time and take that seven millimeter nut off and put my ground on and then throw that thing back in the box. I'll do that on my own time. You'll know why when you get in there to do it. Make sure you put your bracket back on. Don't forget to plug your pigtail in for your display board. Remember that'll be grounded. And then other than that, if you're daisy chaining them or cascading, you want to make sure that you Hook that wire back in. If you don't, it won't work right. You won't control the airflow on the, the exhaust and the venting there. But other than that, if you have any questions or anything, call the guys and girls at the plant. They'll be more than happy to help you. Um, great product. Just give them a shout. Thank you.